inventory manager. So, so I was watching a, um, a a YouTube video, shockingly, recently, yeah. where um, a guy a guy who um, goes around and looks at Dark Souls games. Um, mm -hmm. Who is it? What's his name? Sorry. It is Iron Pineapple. Iron okay. Pineapple uh, goes around and he plays Souls-like games. And he came across one that had a really cool level up mechanic. Um, so in Souls like games, you go to like a priest or somebody who hands out stats for your character, yeah. uh, in in and you pay for them in souls, the, yes. uh, the currency that you collect. In I mean, this game, isn't that not the currency we all pay in the end? Pretty much, yeah. Unless you're Jeff Bezos, who just owns all the money. I mean, maybe um, that's why tonight's streams worked after my prayers that I said I was going to do in Discord. <laughs> maybe. But yeah, um, so in this particular Souls-like game, uh, your level-ups happen by playing a uh, Resident Evil-style, like, um, sh like, attaché case opens, and you have to get all the pieces of your level-ups, like... Into the like case. A, into the case, yeah. Has, has like, this... It, is this level up system basically turned into supermarket sweep when you do the big shop at the end and the more money the yeah yeah your your trolley dash yeah yeah um, but yeah you get you get all these like level ups which end up being like um, Tetris pieces and you you've got like this silly this like you know area for you to fit them all in and the more that you can fit in the more stats that you get sweet and I think that's stats. a really cool idea so. That, that should be in more games. I'm just going to talk to this guy. N no reason. No reason uh, whatsoever. None Not at all. for the people that fell. Uh, let's actually raise some of the people and then cure yep. some of the people. But as we discussed many times in this game, lives are cheap. I mean, right now, you probably are the Jeff Bezos of uh, the Shining Force of community. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I mean, know. I've got a similar haircut. I also do enjoy uh, spaceships that are phallically shaped. <laughs> I think everybody enjoyed that, the internet especially. <laughs> uh, yeah, I enjoyed the Penny Arcade description and someone was like, Jeff, not everything has to look like a penis. <laughs> Untrue. Uh, Gong yes, oh, yeah. the other reason Gong wasn't there is he was dead. Uh, we forgot That'll about it. sweet, gentle Gong. That'll do it. That will stop a man from uh, going to battle, <laughs> battle for you. If he's already dead. Yeah. Oh, wait. I, I no, do that... like that NASA changed what, what it takes to be a, um, astronaut. an astronaut just before Jeff Bezos and uh, Richard Branson got into space. I mean, Richard Branson's been trying to do that for forever. Oh, yeah. He tried to get into space on a balloon, of all things, like 10 years ago. What yeah. a moron he is. He, he tried to do it like when it was like, I'm re releasing Virgin Cola. Do you know what that means? Well, I'm a crazy man with billions of pounds, and I love balloons. I'm gonna space, people! No, talking to that wall is not gonna... No, it's not gonna work. Talk. Oh, uh, the resurrection music. Yeah. Thank you so much for all you've done. Right, we have to... Go into... Uh, do we, though? Yeah. Do we yeah? Do? Okay. Yeah. So talk, because this guy says something. Uh, the room Army. Most of them will say something. There you go. And you know, Bro Legs has made it. Round of applause for Bro Legs. He did it. Golf claps all around. Um, Bro Legs. You make him sound like a He-Man character. I'm broken. I wasn't far off. I'm broken legs. I finally climbed up this <laughs> mountain. Where am I? The mafia got to me. <laughs> I'm broken legs, man. The mountain climbing mafia came and they took my legs from me. Yep. Or just like that kid in Karate Kid, they swept the leg, Johnny. I mean, it just makes that feat of actually climbing that mountain even more impressive. impressive. To be fair. Um, Dude, I, you cannot find no uh, Nova to save no, your life. No, it's not Nova I want. Oh my god! Oh my god it was. <laughs> it was there the entire time. You kept walking past it, Gareth. <laughs> it's this one. No, you. Oh, you want to see uh, Kakichi? Rikichi, yeah. Master Rikichi. Roshi. Hmm. Hmm. 
who was later on Darius in uh, Vandal in Vandal Hearts, yeah. He also was kidnapped and made to work in like an internment camp. Hey, so Gareth, uh, another thing that we uh, we missed out on um, in our two weeks being off. Okay. Uh, th there's a new switch on the way. Uh, I'm I'm aware of this. Uh, I yeah. had discussed in Discord about said switch. Uh, I mm -hmm. kind of held off because I would like a Switch, but I also would maybe like to uh, have a gaming PC, maybe? Something yeah, that would I... reliably stream a video game. <laughs> that, that seems like a solid purchase, Gary. Uh, what do you want? Leave me alone or I'll tear you apart. Love will tear us apart again. That... <laughs> uh... It, what, what are you on about? One of the greatest songs of all time. Of all time! N name another song by that band. What? Joy Division? Yeah. Um, hilariously, I actually have that album and nothing comes to mind. All I can tell you is the guy when he committed suicide played a song called The Idiot on Loop. Yep. I, I also have the greatest hits of uh, Joy Division. I don't know any other songs <laughs> by Joy Division. Look, awful taste. But I'm myself again. What a relief. I can never... Re Imagine if the whole truth is Zylo was just drunk the whole time. Why, well, he just needed an Alka-Seltzer. Yeah, a Barocca. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it's certainly possible. So, we uh, need... I mean, you can't portray alcohol in games at this point, so, I mean, they have to use other I methods. I, th I think you can, at this era. I mean, in Japan, you might be able to get away with it, yeah. but certainly not like in Europe or in, or America. Not us soft, gentle Europeans. I mean... Oh, uh, Papal's saying that um, uh, DBS is coming P with a new movie, whatever that means. Yeah. Um, I, think, I think there's a new Dragon Ball movie coming out. I, I seem to remember reading something about that where they're, like, they're going to actually... Um, oh, with a time skip. Yeah, th is Gohan gonna, gonna be, be finally good? No, Gohan is not allowed to be good. Even when he was good, they had to like break his arm so that he couldn't be good. Yeah, like that's how how much they don't want Gohan to be good. Right. Um, before we proceed, are we gonna take any guesses on the fabulous Nova Tips Corner? Yep. Um, I think he's going to tell you good places to get PC parts from, Gareth, so that you can buy that PC that you always wanted. Uh, I'd have to understand what those parts were and how to assemble them. But I'm learning, slowly but surely. Well, Gramps, are you ready to face the enemy? Advice. Using healing powers as much as possible. Anything else? <laughs> Thanks for that hot Me tip. Uh, that's just like using paracetamol as yeah. soon as you get up from from waking up. Like yeah. that, that's a bad practice, dude. You don't want to do that if they lose their effectiveness. Right, we've got some squad members to switch in, so Diane needs to come in. Yep. Um, who, who are we ejecting from the force now, Gareth? I, I I think I think you're. We need to put away your gun, quite honestly. Yes. Right. It, it's been out there for a long time. It's looking a bit sad and shriveled. Right. Um, Zylo is coming with us. I, I Solid choice. Zylo uh, is very strong. Uh, do do I just bin May now? <laughs> just just <laughs> putting it out like, there. Like a really bad relationship. Look, uh, it's not John, been working look, out. I've, we, we've been going out for a couple of weeks now. Do we? Do I just bin May? Do, do just I just so I can have an easier life? I mean, out of our centaurs, she she's the biggest dumpster fire, right? She is. She has the biggest chin. Then that's saying something. I but, mean, we're know, about to meet the biggest chin in a couple of fights. That's true. Uh, um, Papal saying that uh, in the Dragon Ball Z uh, thing, Goten and Trunks would be grown ups. Yeah. That's pretty cool. They're, they're also apparently changing some of the design styles to some of the characters. So, but I mean, okay. Right. I, that that kind of feels like the kind of news where you need something to tell people, yeah. and it, uh, it they've, they've probably just gone like the um, the Square Enix method of just giving people more belts 
and more, you know, buttons on their shirts and stuff like that. Right. So let's let's just take a little squad photo. There you go. Tao <laughs> appears to have gotten her clothes stuck at the laundrette. Yep. It, she just looks like two fingers pretending to walk. <laughs> <laughs> like, I gave her the I gave her the item. I don't know if you spotted me putting the item yeah, into yeah. it uh, into one of the slots. Um, I don't like that. Yeah, it's. Kind I, of... I, I'm going to give people from this point. I'm going to give them this episode of fan service while we do the next fight. Okay. And, and take it away, right? And then, and then, as a cruel master, I will take it away until we uh... earn. That's, that's just like my dad with Final Fantasy VII again. <laughs> it's just Final Fantasy he, all the time. <laughs> he let me play the. He, he let me get Final Fantasy VII in September of 1997, and then for the weekend, you enjoying that, son? You're winning, son. And then he took it away. And now for the most random. Look, they're trying to block our way to the bridge. Attack them, Shining Force. We're not even a defensive force anymore. We we are the aggressors now. We Han are the aggressors. Hans, are we the baddies? Yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. I, I still have the defense potion that we should really use at some you point. Should, you should probably use that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, all it's doing is clogging up a slot. Uh... Now, if I remember, Crazy. all these guys just do weird stuff. Yeah, the AI in, in, in this game, and in particular these skeleton dudes, yeah. bad. It's just bad. Yeah. They're, they're just determined to be like, here's some XP, boys. Um, have some XP, and if you're not having enough, I'm just going to eat this sandwich to recover some health. So you can hurt me oh, again. Oh yeah, flip it. They started using like some items and stuff. So the side that side on Tao is really weird. It looks like she's got like a knife rather than a clove, clothes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that's odd. Uh, there's definitely some directions, isn't there? Some art choices. Yeah, it's some some rather awkward titillation mm, going yeah. on here. We've got to give them something, but all we've got is pixels. <laughs> hey, you can make some good use of those pixels, man. I I mean, th there's no need for the towel light outfit. We're already on the internet. If people want <laughs> that kind of thing, it's everywhere. Yeah. I mean... I have to be careful, like, when I open my Twitter account, because there's some, some people that I follow that put some dodgy, no, not safe for work stuff on there and don't title it is, as such. Is that your other... Email, your other Twitter account where it's just where you share everyone else's hentai or something. No, I, I follow I follow the anime man. The anime Joey, man, as he's as he's known on Twitter. Yeah, and he he occasionally like you know posts he he quite often rather posts like really cool like anime stuff, and then occasionally it's just like oh there's a woman just taking a large rod right up the you know where like and in the large rod slot. Yeah, like, she's just taking it. Like, right there on my screen. And anybody could be looking at my Twitter account. Even my daughter or my <laughs> wife, heaven forbid. I imagine you know, your wife's used have... to it by now. No. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? Surely by now. Na... insinuate. After, I... after 32 years of blissful marriage, surely she must be aware of you and your stylings. My memory seems to be even worse than I knew, <laughs> Gareth, because it hasn't been 32 years. It's been 17. <laughs> It's a fair wallop, though. That's a, a good I, run. It's a good run, yeah. And now, now Twitter is going to ruin that for me. <laughs> it's a good run. Twitter, Twitter me, a bit. <laughs> yeah, it was going to be something. Like, I mean, at the end of the day, it was you, John. It was your fault in the end. I undoubtedly, it yeah. was always going to be my fault. Um, do we hit him with oh, our God, power it's even staff? Worse behind. Do we hit him with our big staff? In our... I, I guess. Because I feel like using Blaze on this guy might be... So, Wait. why is she... Is she put... She's she's hiding her... Her, her bikini humility. powers. 
Yeah, like she doesn't have bikini like battle spray. She, she's she's not in the. It's even more useless than I thought it already was. Zylo. Why do the werewolf characters always have awesome looking sprites? Because werewolves are awesome. Thank you. They are. It's, yeah. It, I mean, specifically in these games, they are. They look awesome. They don't always play awesome. Yeah. No, I can so. I can understand the uh, the logic in that. Well, yeah, uh, uh, Gareth. So uh, another thing I wanted to discuss. Um, so we were discussing, like, you know, the, the act of the, this new Switch that came out. Yeah. Or is, is in pre-order, I should say. Yeah. Um, that there's a new game that's on the Switch that, that just came out as well. Yeah. That I, I really want to try. I haven't had a chance yet. Um, yeah. You, you might know what it is. It's... Um, the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Was it? <laughs> Did I just steal all of that from you? I need to go get a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. I do actually need to get a drink, but I'll do it after with yeah. you because that would be rude. But yeah, I, uh -oh, okay, spaghetti I, haven't, I haven't played Breath of the Wild. Sue me, okay? It's on my list. It's on my backlog, just like all these other things that I've got, like, listed yeah. over here. Like, all these. I wouldn't mind. I was actually kind of like, you know, la uh, joke, ruffle, copter, not being yeah. serious. And then John was like, well, actually, that was my plan. I'm no, uh, the game I actually wanted to talk but about. But I was, really wanted uh, to play Breath of the Wild. <laughs> I, I do want to play Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild looks like a cool game. Like, I... If you I need any hot it, tips, you should ask the boy. I mean, I'm I, I'm sure that I, I'm still capable oh. of playing a game such as this, but you know what? If I get stuck, sure. Um, on a quick side note, before you tell us about other games that you would like to play that I will ruin, um, he has finished Hollow Knight. Like, proper finished Hollow Knight. I mean, I would too if I had, like, unlimited hours, like children do. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I, also that game's not easy. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's what I mean. Uh, he beat the Radiance today, and when I came home from work, he was super excited to tell me that he beat the final boss in the game. Like for the one of the true endings and everything. Nice. Um, I, I'm kind of impressed that he's done that and Breath of the Wild. Yeah. No, he should be. So. Already doing better than his old man at video games. I hoped I, I mean, had another couple yeah, of I, years. <laughs> anybody's better than you at video games, I'm afraid, Gareth. I mean, I, it's I, just that this game is so easy that it can't punish you. It's unable to punish anyone. Yep. I'm just going to try and feed and re the XP. Yep. But yeah, the game I wanted to talk about was uh, Pokemon Unite. Oh, that game, eh? Uh, game. If I had said Switch, uh, I would join you. Uh, maybe it's a League of Legends style game that I might not be terrible at because you don't have to go to the store and stuff. From what I can oh, get. There's no store. Not, not that I'm aware of. Apparently, it's like super linear. Huh. So I've I've purposefully kept myself a little bit in the dark about it because I want to. All right. You know, see. You wanted all to the, smurf your way through it. Yeah, I, I want to get in there as a like a, a veteran of League of Legends and smurf people to death. Ken ending that archer's career and life. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> That's not kind of what I really had planned, but you know, we'll take that. Let's make a skeleton waste of herb. So, have you actually played? I so we so in Discord you posted that you downloaded it. Have you played it? I downloaded it. it. I, I literally got to the training scene and then uh, had to start making a video All about right. how poop uh, Benji is in Dark Deity. Super, super power crit. Since. I want to check something, and maybe we do What's this that? sometime. Is in Dark Deity, when you get the characters in normal mode, do they always have the same stats? Oh. Which I know sounds weird. I know that Dark Deity also... I don't know if you got to finish the game first, but it does have a randomizer mode in it. Really? 
That's so you can get the so like it's like a Pokemon so that it randomizes where you get the characters and stuff. Yeah. So someone commented like they got one of the characters super early and they became broken, real broken. <laughs> it wasn't CM I mean, before you asked. That, that doesn't really surprise me. Like it being like fair and balanced isn't exactly the strength of that game, is yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, as we were chatting in Discord with a couple of people, like one of the issues with it is, I, we like that it's ambitious and it's trying a lot of stuff. Uh, the downside to it is some of the stuff that they're trying doesn't interact with the other things that they expect people to know from yeah. being like a Fire Emblem fan game, which I mean, is I which is also all maybe that many Fire Emblem games, and there are some things that I don't yeah. follow at all. I mean, has has that armor system been in a Fire Emblem game? Not that I'm aware of. I'm not to say it hasn't. That, it's Anri dead. Don't that's double, the one don't thing that double. I forget about. He doubled. Ah. Well done, skeleton. <sighs> now go go eat a, an herb and sit in the corner. Yeah. Or we'll just finish you off. You're getting killed by what is basically this sprite that you use for a gnome for your first D and D gnome character. Mhm. Mm you know what? I was actually thinking the other day. Like I've not I played. Uh, it's not often I do it, and it hurts. Um, I really miss playing D and D. Uh, and it like the closest I get at the moment is like kind of like living vicariously through my girlfriend <laughs> when she tells me about her sessions because they're playing through. Um, Descent into Avernus, and I'm and here I am, uh, a terrible DM, and a lazy player, being like, I kind of miss playing a bit of D and D, but then it's also uh, just finding the time. Yeah, it's one of those things where when you really love to want to do something and then you just can't find the time to do it. Yep. Um, because like to tonight, hopefully. Uh, seeing as this PC's uh, the laptop is obeying my every command, can Hans finish this guy off? Um, He's on one health. I would hope that he'd be able to. Don't you obey? Well, if his name was Benji, he wouldn't be able to. No, if it was Benji, his armor class of being a corpse would be too high. Uh, That's right. But yeah, it's just something I uh, I kind of miss, and I, occasionally it's like, do I? use like some of the online joy in a game things and i was just trying to work out like i don't know if this because you we sort of played in the same play groups yeah um but has that ever been something where it's like you know what i'd, I'd do it like a random joy in to see how it goes and plays out or um, you, uh, or is it i don't know there's always the the like the the fear of like the stigma of being an outsider. Yeah, yeah. That like, you know, always makes me wary. And it, that that kind of thing also makes me act differently. Yeah. Because when I was with you, I could just be this. Yeah. And just you know act how I normally would. Mm. Whereas like if I was in a in a group of people I don't know, I'd be too like it'd be too easy for me to just go into vanilla mode. Yeah. Where like I I don't try anything out of the ordinary and I just be I play my my class and that would be it. There wouldn't be any like I mean to be fair, know, John. Like, like yeah. you most of the time you play a bard, so you know seducing everything is an option. Um, yeah, but the, the, there were other things I was doing like yeah. the, that bard that I was playing that um, was also incredibly dumb and yeah. also did things that like you know dumb people do like question things and trust people implicitly yep like you know random stuff like that like i wouldn't have done that if i was not in a group with you becky and dan you know dan bloody hell dan uh yeah. I, I mean there was some situations in that as well which stopped that happening well you know i i kind of missed that because i had like a i've i've just got these like plot threads on my laptop just dangling away yeah um but Becky sounds like she's having a great time playing uh, Descent into Avernus. Okay. Um, which is set in Baldur's Gate. Yeah. So I, I find that interesting, with, especially with... I don't think Xylo needs any more kills. I want... He's already taking off, Yeah. isn't he? Yeah. 
He he sort of drops I'm... off, I think, in the next level. There you go. I'm, I mean, the thing I've been missing is like us doing a a, a podcast. I'm yeah. yeah. Like doing these videos is cool, and don't get me wrong, I want to continue doing these. But I I feel like we could maybe get it. Like I listen to podcasts all the time when I'm at work. Yeah. Um, Have you ever looked up how many podcasts exist? There's millions. There's got to be like a million yeah. podcasts. There's more than a million. There's something yeah. like uh, three podcasts to people on the planet near enough or something ridiculous. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, we... So, Gareth and I like had like a little podcast that went for like seven episodes or eight yeah. episodes, something like that. But, I thought it was pretty cool. The, the problem was that uh, the guy who owned the like um the the, the, the sign in the sign in login details he went off on the deep end and decided to quit so even though gareth and i were to continue he just gave up on it yeah um we also don't know what the viewing figures were for any of that like it could have been absolutely nobody for all we know but yeah i thought we were doing a good thing like a lot of the people that, that watch these the videos that that we've put on youtube like some of them have said that they'd like to listen to us talk yeah. and not watch the gameplay, and I can totally get Which behind is, that. I, I, I don't. Uh, I mean, they're clearly missing out right now while I walk across a field very slowly due to terrain. Um, exactly, and we, we talk about things that aren't gameplay related. Yeah. Um, I mean, I enjoy the conversation. Thank nice. you, Diane. For the rest of the evening, Diane, I'll try my best not to call you Janet. Um, that, there you go. Little reward. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Have a biscuit. Um, God damn it, goat. It's just a Swung big horse wildly. with wings. Do you think the bikini's slowing her down? I, it's a weighted bikini. It yeah. has an armor class of 18, Gareth. Yeah. I roll. I rolled a seventeen. Does it hit the face of the DM? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Bye, Diane. Something... Bye, <laughs> Diane. Well, at least you don't have to worry about calling her Janet anymore. Yeah. She's a corpse. <laughs> I mean, she's yeah, now it, as useful so, so... as Janet. Uh... <laughs> so one thing that Gareth does like to do, by the way, is send me lots of things about the D and uh, D stuff. I like D and D memes. Memes are fun. Memes are fun, but I I don't I I don't think I'm as high on D and D as you are. Yeah. So I don't. I think you I put it best always, in. I like, uh, appreciate them as much as yeah. you do. I, I I always enjoy. It. Oh, what was that? did I send you the Star Trek one? Because uh, one of the things that is a common like misconception <laughs> sometimes in D and D, that guy's got like the greatest stealth armor ever. Yeah. yeah. Screw it, I'm gonna punch him as I Yeah. Just slow him out. Just to slow him down, clip his wings. Even Zylo. Oh, he's the fastest Pegasus wow. Knight alive. Um Okay. You you aren't you aren't beating this guy. Is it actually time for you to be like punished? No. No. God no! Um Is uh, John put it well in Discord is I really enjoy like the ideation of D D. Um, it's the actual playing I, 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 of it and the stuff that slows you down yeah. that stops me from wanting to play it more. Yeah. It, it's the it's the idea of like, oh, I've had my turn. I had a really good turn. I had a good time with that. And yeah. now somebody wants to like go through the the, the hour long yeah. process of buying a weapon. Yeah. Um, or bartering or some other yeah. like stuff that seems to me to be completely pointless. But that person's having a great time doing that. Yeah. But you, to the well, detriment of everyone else involved. That, that's not necessarily right. it's not necessarily to the detriment. I think sometimes some people do need to speed up. And there are people who don't um, think about what's going on and how to like if someone else is talking, you can potentially be prepping your next turn. Yeah. As a player. Or and I'm not. I'm not saying you. Room. Can, yeah. Um, it's not. It, it, I, I. Until recently, I didn't think like my ability to read other people, perceive other people's emotions, was too big of a skill. Until, like the past like eighteen months, where it's become apparent to me that other people either don't care <laughs> what other people think, 
and just do their own thing, or they are completely unaware that other people have, you know, motivations and things that they want to do with their time and just go, well, I'm going to count this bag of pennies that I found on the ground. Yeah. I want to tell a story about this bag of pennies whilst I count them. One, two, oh. like, You've obviously met one of my co workers. One of my co workers will come and tell you the same story for like an hour every day, yeah. any day, every day. And whilst, uh, whilst you're like, you know, wasting away like <laughs> that man from the Indiana Jones movie, yeah. like you just go ah like that. <laughs> They're still there, like blissfully talking about this stupid bag of pennies that they found on the floor. Yeah, yeah. Like some people just don't get it. It's oh, it's putting my head in. I mean, that, you're talking to two people who have just spent nearly an hour and a half uh, playing the same video game. Uh, and listening to the same like, battle music. It, yeah. it, that The battle music in this game is not great. I... Well, okay, you were love, me, you used to love this that. battle music. You were all for it. No, I was all for the stupid um, dance that I used to do once it <laughs> began because it just goes on a loop. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like... Duh, 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 duh. Yeah, it's... Thankfully, a few years later, they put a little bit more money into this. <laughs> yeah. When you hear the same piece of music at the beginning of each person's turn after they've done an attack, though, yeah. it gets a bit tiresome. Let, let's, let's be real here. So, on holiday, I downloaded on onto holiday. my tablet uh, YouTube Music because my son okay. is obsessed with using Spotify on my phone to the point where one month he you I had I had a fairly chunky contract in the UK I had 15 gigabytes of data okay and I got my uh, I paid my months thing so I had a new a fresh start and I yeah. came back and he had used because he forgot to turn the Wi-Fi on my phone he'd used something like nine gigs just listening to music and trying to watch videos at the same time. At the same time? That's yeah. That's a good use of your time there. Um, that's the thing I love is he'll watch, he'll have his tablet next to him with like meme videos on and stuff, like Hollow Knight memes. Yep. Yep. And um, he'll be gaming next to it. Yeah, my, my daughter does the same thing. I, like she was watching uh, somebody called... Um, Cookie Cute C or something like that, uh, who does like gaming videos of like Roblox and stuff like that. Right. But she was also uh, listening to music, so you know she had that going on. My wife was in the kitchen making dinner, listening to Spotify. Yeah. And I was in here making a video. So we were all in separate rooms, all doing different things, socializing we, we like great absolute family champs. Unit going yeah. on. Great family unit. Yeah. Couldn't be closer. That's, that's one of the reasons why, I like, when it comes to actual dinner time, um, this thing, the, these these black uh, rectangular Blocks. pieces of Satan wear uh, are locked away. They get thrown out of the room. They are so you, you actually know, have to socialize from the table. We actually have to, you know, socialize between the family unit. Uh, It'll never my catch up. Hates that, by the way. Does she? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She hears. She hears the uh, the Discord bloop noise, and she's she's looking longingly at the like. You can hear it from the kitchen, and we're sat at the dinner table, and he goes bloop, and she's like, "Oh, you mean your Discord?" No, her Discord. She has Discord, and she she's part of a Discord group. I I find sometimes find uh, the reveal of Discord's other uses terrified me when uh, a coworker explained to me what he used it for and i was like oh the internet's it oh no not drugs oh okay um frequently go with drugs though okay and i was like oh you're not the kind of person who should really be doing this you're you're young and naive and innocent you don't need that in your life no that's how people end up with russian brides <laughs> and owing the mafia a debt I mean, you're in Morecambe, so I mean, well, you're in Lancaster, which is close to Morecambe, and the, <laughs> yeah. the mafia is is nearby, so that that's very a very real possibility. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're not 
to be fair, actually, uh, our hometown... It's home more of a triad town. I, w I will... I will admit uh, um, our hometown had a, a huge issue during the pandemic when they discovered that drug gangs from Manchester were coming in and out of the city, A, selling drugs, and B, spreading COVID. One of the two things was more intentional than the other one would assume. I, I would hope. Uh, there we live was, in a I really nice area, by the way. Yeah. Like, the UK is really safe. Yeah. I, I would like to point out that one of the reasons people come to Lancaster for university is because of the uh, very low crime rate. And then the same students when they leave go, it's a bit boring really, isn't it? And I was like, yeah, well, maybe if there was a bit more crime, it'd be slightly more exciting. Who knows? Yeah, possibly. Hands, I've lined up you a simple Pegasus to murder. So, so we have um, a friend of ours uh, who lives in Bury, and they bought a caravan, uh, and now they they have this caravan in uh, Morecambe. And it was they kept telling me like, why do you ever move away? It's really cool here. It's really nice. What in Morecambe? I, I, yeah, in Morecambe. And I and I told them like, yeah, now it's okay. But when we were growing up, it was awful. <laughs> like there was nothing to do ever. It was the most boring place in the world. That's how safety is bred, by being boring. Yeah. That's why I'm so safe. Yeah. Safe all the time. Just like my gameplay style, forever safe. Forever safe. Never punished, always safe. Welcome welcome to the stream, by the way. Yeah. So, you've made, I'm trying to you've work made out... You've a choice in coming here. Yeah. Now that we've told you that we're incredibly boring and safe. <laughs> Dear me. Just send Zylo off to kill this guy. I'm sure Alex I mean, would be proud point, of me. At this point, you can just send Zylo off to, to deal okay. with the entire situation. and he will Zylo's fine. the first character we can promote if we want to. We can live dangerously and promote at level 10. I, do I do it just oh, to trigger okay. a load of people? I was, I was <laughs> going to say that exact thing. Like, everyone's just like, no, you don't. You have to look, look at this graph that I've made. <laughs> I made it on Google Docs, but I wrote it out just in case. Now, if you look here, this line of the uh, level ups, you wait until the specific point when his attack is at 33, <laughs> and then you promote, and not a second before. I mean, I... Or you can just promote him now. Yeah, yeah. And just trigger so many people. Oh, that guy actually hurt him somewhat. Um, but yeah, I, I just... I understand people, some people really like the optimal gameplay experience. I don't know. I'm going to let people into a dark secret. Microphone oh, slightly please. closer and more into shot. As a younger man, I promoted everyone at level 10 to see what the classes were. <laughs> yes! I did exactly the same thing because I wanted to see cool things on my screen. Not the numbers getting bigger. Who cares about numbers getting bigger? And the gameplay being easier. No, I wanted to make things hard for myself, and that's why things were better when I was younger. Can Arthur kill this guy? He should do. There's one, he's got one health. Like, this is Arthur we're talking about. He's found ways before. That's true. He yeah. went to level 6. He's got his one MP. Arthur. Um, but yeah, I, I, I was young, and I just wanted everyone to be cut because... Promoting early was cool. No, nope. I was young, dumb, and excitable. Yep. yep. And I, I continue to stick with the theory that. Oh, I did heal him. That you know, seeing cool promotion changes, and then later on when video games like Vandal Hearts and Fire Emblem showed me cool promotion animations, I was more about. I was also about that as well. And you know what? I promoted as soon as I could again there as well. Like oh, the I monster I am. I, I, from what you're describing, very little has changed for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still that way now. Don't be the end of the map. Do Why I do what I did last time? Because I want to see if uh, we can heal Arthur and maybe get him some more sweet XP. Ah, I see. Because uh, so if you're... Level. Yeah. Um, so is Arthur one of these people that actually gets a lot better if he can get his level? Yeah, he he does. Is one of those really irritating characters in the fact can you heal? She hasn't got enough magic points. 
What is the use of you, Chris, anyway? Um, I, I, I literally said the reason why you couldn't do the thing you wanted to do and just went, I wanted maybe you to John's be wrong. wrong. Maybe I don't have to listen to John. You have to listen to me, Gareth. I know what I'm talking about, okay? Refusal is also don't a shake choice. Your head at me, <laughs> ginger boy. Although you should be ginger man because you're actually older than yeah. I am. <laughs> Sorry, Papal just making me think of Aussie Man with no, yeah. <laughs> Promoting early is the biggest mistake ever. Uh, no, yeah, it's not. No. Weirdly enough, this game isn't that hard and you can do what you want. I'm not saying I, I, that you can't do... If you've watched any, any point of this game, it definitely isn't that difficult. Like, yeah. you can definitely get away with just, like, promoting whenever you wish. Yeah. Hey! If you, by the way, if anyone watching this, like, if you want to promote it, like, at the, the point when it makes the most sense to, like, because of your bar graph or whatever it is, like, more power to you. Like, that, that's one of the great things about these games is that it gives you choice. Yeah. Okay? And like, also, as you, we... If, sorry, uh, you first. My bit's not that exciting. Oh, well, you know, it, I wasn't going to meme it up and say, like, well, actually, you're completely wrong. I actually do genuinely mean that that's one of the great things about this this franchise is that it yeah. gives you options, and options are really cool. I, I I'd rather have more options than not. That is a so, great uh, point. I was also going to say like one of the things that they do in this for replays is like you do get like as I've described it before the rubber band stats as well. Yeah. Not to say that like you don't the end stats should always be the same. But sometimes you, a character may not be as viable because they just don't get there. They just sort of bounce around a little bit. Please tell me you're not going to grind on the Dark Priest guy. I'm going to grind all over him. That's disgusting. And you're going to watch me and you're going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> Check out my OnlyFans. For more, for Check more out my OnlyFans where I grind on priests. Um. <laughs> I grind on priests. Yeah, I'm just there with like a pepper grinder, salt yeah, that, grinder. That's the, that's the name of my Discord channel. Like grind salt grinder. <laughs> yeah, that that's the kind of Discord channel that I was alluding to earlier that kind of scares me. Yeah. To be fair, if I got in there and joined this <laughs> random like you know channel and it just said I grind on priests, this yeah. is a safe space for people with like-minded. <laughs> Priests. You know, persuasions. I mean, is there a yeah, specific I, I persuasion know. for be grinding on a priest? I don't know. So how come Hans did one less damage there than he did before? Just getting tired, isn't he? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> in 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 Shadow Force Two, like all the if numbers, you did the same are... attack, yeah, on the same person, it would do the same amount of damage. Like his, his stats haven't gone down. He hasn't got I tired, I just want to Gareth. check something. Uh, I want that button and then this one. Nope. I was just checking to see if he had a... Because uh, some of the priests in this game have uh, rings uh, that they, uh, they, they can equip. So oh, okay. uh, I was just wondering if... Because one of the things in... Because someone was saying we should play the Shining Force 1 mod with improved graphics and something else. And yeah, I think, I think we saw some of that. Like, you didn't like the way the priests looked. Yeah, the priests look weird. Um, yeah. But the one of the things that they noted is, like, some of the priests later on have... That's some good damage, by the way. Yeah. There we go, and hands can finish him off. Um, but one of the things is like you come across characters like uh, enemy NPCs, and they've got items, but the items aren't equipped. So what they've done is they made sure that all those characters have uh, the items equipped and stuff like that, because they 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 claim that just was the original thing. So head for the bridge. We need to get across quickly. Um, or do I just go back here to the shops? You could do that. Yeah.